All right, now for more on this story, let's bring in Washington Post national pol politics columnist Karen Tumulty. Karen, she, she also wrote a piece recently called Democrats Rallied Around Christine Blasey Ford. Will they do the same with Vanessa Tyson? Tyson's one of the women accusing Fairfax of sexual assault. All right, Karen, so given what happened with the Kavanaugh-Ford situation, what position do Democrats find themselves in when it comes to Fairfax now? Well, I think, you know, the circumstances of the specifics of the allegations in the two cases are very different. But what we have are two women coming forward, uh, you know, ironically enough, both of them academics from California, with no apparent political motive to make these claims against men who, you know, are poised to get a really big promotion. And I think that this is really a test, not just for Democrats, but for all of us, sort of what we learned from the whole saga around Brett Kavanaugh's Supreme Court nomination. And I think that the one thing we did learn uh, is that women, when they come forward like this, it's a very difficult thing to do, and that we really owe them sort of a respectful hearing of their claims. I mean, we may decide ultimately that we don't believe them. We may decide that these are not disqualifiers for the, the people they are accusing. Um, but I do think that Lieutenant Governor Fairfax failed that test uh, early on when he immediately responded to these by claiming there are conspiracies and he specifically said things about Vanessa Tyson, the first accuser, that were not true. He said, for instance, that the Washington Post had found red flags and internal inconsistencies in her story, which our newspaper did not in its reporting. So I think that these women, you know, and particularly Vanessa Tyson, when she was out there by herself, was really not accorded the kind of respect that you would think somebody would be after, you know, after what the country went through with the Brett Kavanaugh accus accusations last year. Well, and some viewed Kavanaugh's confirmation as a loss for the Me Too movement. Could this current scandal with Fairfax be another flashpoint for this Me Too era? Well, I, I don't know, and I don't think we're going to know until we see how it is handled. Of course he deserves, uh, this is not a legal case at this point, but he deserves something like due process, a, a full airing of these claims. He is saying now that he has demonstrable evidence that these claims are not true. Well, if you use the word demonstrable, that puts a responsibility on you to bring that evidence forward, and he has yet to do that. So now, now Justice Kavanaugh had, had intimated that uh, there was a behind the scenes push for these women to come forward to ruin his chances of joining the Supreme Court. And in effect, Mr. Fairfax has said the same thing, that there are dirty players behind the scenes who are encouraging that. Is there any evidence that would lend credence to that? There is no evidence that has has been made that we can see at this point. These two women are talking about incidents that took place four years apart. They, there is no evidence that they know each other. So, uh, so the lieutenant governor's accusations of there being some sort of smear campaign or, or you know, conspiracy behind this. If if he wants to claim that, he needs to put that evidence on the mm. table as well. All right, Karen Tumulty, thank you so much. Thank you.